I'ma keep it dialed and swipe it like it. Look, I made it. Hashtag, yo, I'm the greatest. And the game don't stop till I get on top. Are you ready now? Oh, yeah. So, we are back where it all started. Deep River Water Park. <laughs> uh, we, we met in the ladies' rock locker room. Learning how to Johnny Mop, how to clean toilets. Well, we met here, Deep River, almost eight years ago now. Um, we didn't like each other at all. I thought he was weird and weird looking. And then I went around the water park calling him my boyfriend when he wasn't, and that's where our love story began. <laughs> and first year we were friends, and second year we started hanging out, and the third year we decided to start dating. And it's been history ever since. Welcome and thank you for being here. We are so blessed to be surrounded by the people who have cheered us on and supported our love story from the very beginning. And now, as we finally get to celebrate our marriage, we're so grateful to know you're part of this moment as well. We'd especially like to thank our parents and the entire wedding party who have put their love, thoughtfulness, and care into ensuring our wedding day turn out just as we imagined. Our final wedding day wish is for each of you to enjoy celebrating. So please raise a glass as we toast you all. We wouldn't be here without your love and we love you. Look at me. Wow, look at you. It's really 
Can you move in it? A little bit. A little bit? Okay. <laughs> it looks like you can't move like from the hip down. No, so when we do our dance, we're going to take it to the turns real slow. We'll spin as many times as you want to spin. <laughs> it looks good though. You love it? I do. Nice. Your mom's like, your butt looks really good. And I said, yeah, that's why you're married. <laughs> good job. So I knew Abby was the one when she moved to Arkansas and I was just bored and I missed her all the time. I am excited to marry Trent again. Uh, it's been a great year and I don't know, I feel like we've been growing closer in the last few like months even. So I'm excited to see where the rest of our life takes us and to see how our love can grow. Knowing that there's someone there when times are tough would be the best part. Just knowing that we're a team. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay. Get your smile on. <laughs> oh. You guys have an arm up. You got your freaking phone. Trench. Oh, Trench. <laughs> Would you do it again? <laughs> yeah, why not? We'll do, we'll do a third wedding. We'll do. That's the thing. I did the big wedding. I did the small wedding. What would the third wedding be? Medium. Travel. <laughs> Why not? Anywhere specific? No, just Guatemala. It's okay. Let's do it at the airport. Yeah, there you go. Right, cool. On the tarmac. Yeah. In the airplane. Ooh, that'd be a good one. <laughs> be plenty of seats. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good story. So I let her pick out the ring because I figured if she's the one wearing it, she should be the one to pick it out. But she didn't know when. So I knew it was coming and because we went and we picked out the ring together and everything. We went to the Salt Flats because we just moved to Salt Lake City. So in Utah, there's a place called the Salt Lake Flats, which is where the Salt Lake used to be, but now it's just old giant flat land area. It's pretty cool to look at. So I decided to drive out there with her one day and at the time, she didn't have real nails, she had fake nails. My nails were not as pretty as they are now, and I used to bite them. And so I have little press-on nails. And she was picking at them, and she picked one off in the car on the way there. And so I was like, well, might as well take them all off then, because you're going to have pictures taken. It's been a while since I looked into your eyes And saw starlight, bold, bright colors, yeah when I'm down, when I'm dry, no one else. My love, my love. So then we were like walking and walking, walking, and I thought we were just there to like take pictures for Instagram. Then he's carrying his GoPro case with him, and I was like, why are you carrying that? Like, why are you, why do you have that in the picture? He's like, oh, I want to get sponsored. I'm like, okay, thinking I'll just edit it out later. And then he's like, oh, I forgot something. And I'm like, what could you have possibly forgotten? We're literally just taking a freaking picture. She thought we were just going out there to take a couple cool pictures. So we got far enough in, and I knelt on one knee and said, will you marry me? And she said, yeah. 
And then that's when he turned around and grabbed the ring out and got down on one knee and proposed. And all I could do was a laugh. I was just laughing the entire time because I was just thinking like, wow, I was like, I was like getting irritated and mad and how funny it was that I had gotten so irritated and mad, but this was his plan and I was just like laughing at myself in the situation. And then we turn around and he's like, oh look, my friend follows here. And his friend was like in the background taking pictures of us. So he like planned it all out and I had no idea. Trent, you know me better than anyone else in this world, and somehow you still manage to love me. You are my best friend and one true love. There is still a part of me today that cannot believe that I'm the lucky one who is married to you. I promise to be there when you need me, to encourage you and to help you reach your goals, to fill your days with love and laughter. I promise to laugh at your jokes when you tell me to laugh, and to always leave you my leftovers. And I promise to be your best friend and love you with all my heart. Abby, here we are again and I wouldn't want it any other way. Your love gives me hope, your smile gives me joy, you make me a better man. I promise to love you on your good days and on your bad days, and yes, even when you're crabby Abby. <laughs> I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. We have grown so much together, and I promise to keep growing with you. Today I promise to be your navigator and sidekick in all of life's adventures. I promise to be your best friend and husband. I promise you myself completely. I love you forever. No one One more photo. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's oh. Okay, get your hands cold. That's fine with me. Oh, cool. Show my Let's go. Oh. 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 No, not at all. <laughs> I followed Trent into his basement, which was a terrible mistake, because then he came out of the shadows with a samurai sword, which was very real and very sharp. He then decided to stab me. <laughs> so please, raise a glass and wish this dynamic duo a happy, sword-free life together, and that's full of great memories and adventures. And I remember thinking, she's really pretty. I don't know how he got her. But he better hang on tight. Abby, you're such a wonderful woman and deserve the man of your dreams. Unfortunately, you don't always get what you deserve. I'm just kidding. I love you both, and I'm so happy that the world brought you two together to do this crazy thing called life. Congratulations. Woo!
all second places. No time for rest. Never settle for second best. Spectacular, miraculous. Feel so good, feeling glorious. Yeah. Clap along and sing. Gonna do my thing. Ain't no stopping me. Gonna do my thing. So we did it, but there were no birds, and I really wanted some birds. So we're just gonna have to settle, but it's okay. It's been one of the best days of my life. Getting everybody together, doing the dance, and just seeing everybody celebrate these two. Seeing all the proud faces in the crowd, looking on my best friend and his best friend and future partner, it's amazing. No, uh, you know, I think this whole best man thing is kind of a hoax. Um, I was actually supposed to be his best man, but he has to play along with the appearance, obviously. I can't complain, it's a funny joke. Mirror sucks, it's pretty funny. We all bond over our love for mirrors, and he's the butt of a lot of jokes. But the first person to come to the defense of mirrors every single time is Trent. I think Trent was trying to keep up some appearances, um, and so that's why that's why he made Pat his best man. Um, but behind the scenes, everybody knows that mirrors is the best man. And he even came up to me and made sure that I understood I couldn't do it because of the joke. I told him, no worries, Pat can take all of that. Supposedly, Mears was supposed to be the best man, and I'll agree with it. Full disclosure, Trent lived in my basement for a week and a half and nobody knew it was there. Oh well. Let's go!